So here we are again with a weekly update. Having spent some time separating the girls and the boys, this week we've had to bring everybody back into the forest at Les Beauchen. Um The confinement after the with the coronavirus here in France um, has become more strict, and uh, there was not. At the time I moved them, there was not absolute clarity on the position of going to visit your uh, your equines. Subsequently, the day after we, we walked them all back from the neighbours, um, the League of Protection for Equines has announced that it is not acceptable. It is classed as um, maltreating um, if you are not able to go and feed and water uh, and care uh, for your your equines so it does appear but it does remain a great area the the agricultural minister has been silent and there has been at least one case reported in the national newspaper of um, an adolescent who was going to take water to her horses and uh, the police stopped and gave her an on the gave her a spine um, although she was within the geographical distance and she had her attestation signed, they said it was not um, vital, the journey, and that actually horses are not domestic pets and they are in the food supply chain and therefore they could be left. But as I say, the, the, protect, the League of Protection for Equines in France has subsequently um, uh, countered that. Um, but it is confusing. And so for me, I was worried that now we are three weeks three well just under a month before Bamako here is due to have a baby her baby donkey um, she has been showing signs now for three weeks so it gets a bit confusing um, but she's at a point now where I am up and down in the night watching her every hour um, and um, I really couldn't do that if she was still at the neighbours we had planned that I would go and uh, sleep in his barn um, but that's just uh, too risky now so um for the welfare of Bamako, uh, she has come back and in order that she's not lonely, she's got all her friends back. Hello, Portos. The boys really love the forest. The uh, Provence donkeys really do love it. They, they love to go to, to stay at friends' pastures and have the grass um, and they run and run and play. But after about a week, they're waiting at the gate to come back home because they just love the acres of forest to play. By contrast, these two new Poitou ladies, um, I think where they came from, they were just given hay each day. And so we're trying to teach them to come out and eat for themselves because they're just not used to doing it. So they would rather wait next to our house where it's uh, just dry mud or wet mud um, where they've, over the years of having donkeys there, um, there's really very little vegetation. And instead of coming here to enjoy the glories of the Beauchen, they just stand and wait. So we're just bringing them out now twice a day, just walking through the forest and um, calling to them. And the boys are jolly happy to come and play. They like to play hide and seek with us. There's uh, Athos's bottom up there somewhere. Um, Bamako is used to it now. But these two ladies, they love it once they come here. But when we go back, they follow us back and then they just stand and wait to be given hay again. Oh, hello. Am I not talking to you, Aram? <laughs> yes. He is the real star, this one. He just loves attention. Good boy. And Annie Sue here is the tallest. So she's a bit like a giraffe. She sticks her head up in the air and finds nice, tall, tasty branches. But it's very bizarre. So we have, uh, you know, nearly five hectares of woodland. Lots and lots to eat. And they just stand and wait for, to be given hay and bread and carrots. But they do like the attention as well, so they like to stay close to the house. But um, certainly left to their own devices, the Provence donkeys come in here and play and eat. So back to Bamako, who I have now, as I say, been watching every hour. The, the full moon uh, is on the 7th of April, and that will be the 12th moon. And a lot of the breeders of the Bordet de Poitou say they tend to give birth around a full moon. Now, the vet says it's one year, which would be around the 1st of May. Um, so the full moon on the 7th of April is the 12th. And then there's one, I can't remember, the 8th or so of March, which will be the 13th moon. So, uh, But the sign she's showing, I think we're getting close now. So let's see if I can show you. The, the foal is kicking a lot. And she keeps moving from one foot to the other where it's really kicking. Her tummy suddenly dropped even more. We thought it had dropped. 
and her hindquarters there are really spongy when you touch um, and she she does have a, a sack of milk so she's displaying all the signs that uh, if you read they tell you but um, on it goes this happened 18 months ago when in fact sadly she went to the very end but then gave birth to two twin females who were dead right at the end though she went um, well we're not sure because she was pregnant when she came so either 13 or 14 moons um, we think but the breeder wasn't very clear so maybe not anyway after this time and having had a scan with the vet we know exactly um, the time we're at and after uh, she's had this um, foal we should then be clearer for any future with Bamako um, of the time whether it's going to be 11 months 12 months or 13 months Annie Sue over there will uh, is actually the sister of the uh, the champion stallion Cupidon du Verne and Annie Sue um, is not currently um, pregnant but we're expecting to take her to the Ardèche um, or for them to come and collect her actually with the confinement because they're professionals they have a right to do so hopefully in the next month and double over there with Frances um, she is due to have her foal in September so that's our update be in touch soon ciao bamako